Hey guys, uh, it's Jesus from here. My remix for Eli and Fur is out now on Spin and Deep. Uh, it's called Other Side. And today I wanted to show you a little bit of what I did in the song. And I will talk uh, mainly about uh, arrangement. And yeah, let's dive right in. So we see what, first of all, let's talk about which elements we have. We have a main synthesizer, which is uh, a step sound. Um, we have a vocal, um, which has like we have which has several parts we have a first verse we have a second verse and we have uh yeah a chorus um so those parts are in the vocal uh we have a main synthesizer which is the step sound um we have uh like some pads some um melodies uh, here also for the breakdown um, and yeah so it's just um, it's just about uh, layering sometimes when you want to have uh, a really full stereo field and we uh, so in these in this category here in the mids area it's all about layering stuff uh, yeah up on another so that it gets fuller because usually what, what I realize is that when you just have like one uh, key sound and where you just like uh, turn the filter up to um, have a full frequency spectrum it sounds always pretty um, miserable so I really like to stack it up with several pads that are different that are different and some of them are have more distortion and um so this really sounds way better to me than just one sound where just put the filter up but that's probably also probably there are also examples against that but uh for me this works way better and yeah that's uh, the most important thing for me so we have just a sub bass there's not much happening and we have drums, we have uh, hi-hats, you know, hi-hats can be like, when, when they come at the right time, they can, it can already be enough when there is a hi-hat coming in at one section because uh, it just, uh, sometimes it just works. And this track is also a good example why it works um, so well. We have uh, snare drums and we have a kick and a ghost kick for a side chaining. I think everybody knows what side chain is, so I won't explain that. But um, yeah, first of all, the track starts with the step sound that we have, and with this melody I call it like accent delay uh, that was just quite distorted in the pad. So uh, which is like a nice, um, it's which is like a. No, the, this accent delay is like not really distorted. It's like kind of a kind of a uh, like bell that is uh, always coming at. I think the yeah on the two and the four. Yeah, and yeah, that's that's the intro. We have like a riser that introduces the vocal. That's always very that always works well if you. Um, uh, do it like that because uh, it's. I always like take the first section of the of the uh, of like like the first word of the section, put like I don't know four seconds of reverb on it at one hundred percent, freeze this as an audio file and then reverse it so it goes like from uh, so it's like this what effect so that built up from zero and it's kind of a cool. <laughs> Thing to introduce like everything a vocal or you can also do this with delay i also do that quite often with the with delay and yeah and this is like a sure shot this is always great and it fits perfect to the sound um uh, after that so um yeah there's not we have like in the next part which is called break vocal the we have the first verse coming in um so that like that's new and then we have at half of the section uh, the sub bass coming in so which builds builds of course excitement and then we have uh, at the 
and then like everything goes up a little bit with filters so you build exciting everything and then uh, you have built an excitement and then you turn it down I like take probably everything out right before the, the drop so it's always like drops are always working well when there's like um, a really huge amount of um, uh, like dynamic and like uh, contrast you know like if you have a really full drop it will work the best when it's like right before the drop it's like very minimalistic or there's even like nothing going on so it's like from zero to 100 uh, percent and this also works of course the other way around so if you have a drop that's like very minimalistic and it's just i don't know like a baseline and a kick or maybe like a very um uh, soft melody it's always like cool to really build this up uh, and uh, then let it fall down to to that this also works very well and um yeah yeah, kind of, this is kind of what I did here, uh, but not exactly, I just took it, I, I took something out and then it has like, I mean, there's definitely some stuff in, you know, I have uh, another step sound coming in, um, I have a, the pad stays in and I have like an, an organ sound coming in, so it gets like a little bit fuller, but it's, you know, you, you don't always have to, it's like, it, it works because there is some 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 kind of pause before that, but um, yeah. And this is also the introduction of the hi hat and the snare and the clap layer. Uh, I have like a hi hat coming in that's at that place like on every fourth note, uh, and an and an off hi hat. So that's coming in. After half of the, after eight bars, uh, and yes, it's just like right about that time. So you, you know, like it's it's moving, it's like going along nicely. But you know, you don't there doesn't need to be like much happening because the it, it all works together. But when there's like nothing happening at thirty three bars, you know, it's kind of uh, it stays. It's it's also not really exciting. So you just take a high head in and off high head. And that's already something that brings in more groove and more excitement and yeah, works very well. Um, and also at this time I bring in this distorted glide sound. You might hear it and really blows up at uh, 41 bars and which is like kind of the B part of that, uh, which like, yeah, it's, it's like the B part of that drop section. So you have like, the bass, the drums, and the and the um, and the melody in the main synthesizer playing, and after half of the section, you know, there, there's like this this pad, this glide sound that just, um, puts in more more contrast. And yeah, we build that up, and then it falls down uh, in in the breakdown where we have the same melody. Uh, uh, no, no, we don't have the same melody, but that's also um, that's kind of a melody that also comes in the outro. So uh, it, it's kind of a new thing. So it's, it would be like a little lame to just go back to the original thing. You need to also have a little bit of contrast, though, so you can go back to that theme again. And it's it's like not probably too boring. And um, yeah, so this is exactly what happens at part at uh, bar 57 we go in this time with the second verse um we have again like a vox riser before that's for the introductions that's also it's always bad to do that because it um it doesn't come in too surprisingly it's like it's uh it's just not it's it's just more pleasant to me um and yeah, then we have an organ sound coming in, um, like a piano, um, a piano uh, octave that is uh, also very, uh, you know, which also builds excitement together with the bass line because it's just layered. It's, it plays the same notes as the bass line, so it's like 
you probably know when you are in a club and you have like a very atmospheric part uh, in, in the break and then just, that's just coming in the baseline and when the baseline is coming in uh, it just builds up excitement because you know oh no the drop might come soon and uh, it's the party will go on so <laughs> that's, that's that's the message of that and um, yeah uh, we have um, also um, layering a sound that here which is uh, just kind of a step sound also and yeah I will and this is also and this one here really makes it full um, yeah so I, I use that one here to, to do that and it builds up and then uh, there's like a uh, like a you know this to bring in the and, and the, the step sound here which is like yeah the main synthesizer of that song uh, it's not in 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 the break you know like to bring it in again in the drop you know so that you have like a contrast there you know but it's also like a little weird if the step sound is like not in the break at all so you just so it kind of needs an introduction to bring it in but we just do it like that it, that it comes it comes in like half of a bar like yeah like i don't know yeah half of a bar before the drop it just comes in filtered and with uh, delay uh, so that it's like very radical in there you know oh wow that's the step sound that i know from before and then we put in <laughs> yeah like some 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 nice white noises some uh fills uh that uh, and which are always like helpful for like very dancey drops and um, that's kind of a dancey drop and um, yeah so that's why why we use this one here and yeah and then this is basically the um the part now where it's again very very full you know um we, we have a lot of stuff going on we have the step playing we have uh, the step layer playing with the pad playing we have uh, the organ is coming in at half of the section again we have uh, the step sound here playing um, and of course also there is like there also is a there also is a another clap layer added to the snare drum so that um, yeah we are basically um, yeah trying uh, like trying to make more contrast to the first drop part so it, that is not exactly the same clap but it's also kind of similar so that's that's it's like very, a, quite a subtle movement but you will when you will listen to that you will definitely hear that it, that it's a quite diff yeah it, that is not exactly the same clap which which makes a huge difference even if it's such a small thing um, and it's it's also um, quite helpful that the clap is not exactly before the drop. It's not in the break, so that there are like two parts. Uh, you have you 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 have like more contrast in the two parts, which is uh, good in this case. I mean, like you could also sometimes I also use use um, use a clap or like a snare to to in the break, like for the build up. Um, but I think in this case it was not necessary, and also I wouldn't probably not um, you use a clap like right right before the drop comes. I would prefer like to like take it out just even like a little before so that it's like a bit more exciting for the listener when the. Uh, clap is like coming in so it's like something new that is like not you, you always have to have the feeling there's like something happening and this 
only uh, is there when there is like contrast. So always try to <laughs> to try to make make it like uh, really structured and s try to put in as much contrast as possible and as much dynamic as possible, which is um, very very important to uh, music, I I think. And um, yeah, we have. In this section, like hi hats, uh, like much more hi hats because it's way fuller and also needs to be like more energetic than the first drop because otherwise it wouldn't make sense from a dynamic level. So that's very very important. We have an off hi hat starting here. Uh, we have uh, we have another off hi hat, so it's like layered. So it's not exactly the same hi hat that you heard before, but it's also kind of similar, which also like we lose it automatically together. It's uh, quite effective to do that and um, and I also put um, like a hi-hat uh, groove that is layered on top of the uh, step sound you probably won't hear it that much but it, it's there and it's more it's more, more of a thing that you don't really uh, hear but you feel it uh, and it kind of fits in like if it's not there there's something missing and yeah that's like enough for me to, to put it in and um, yeah, we have we have a, a, a white now noise um, loop in the background, so which also makes the the frequency spectrum full, um, which is uh, yeah like the goal of that. Um, we have risers, and uh, here again, when when the vocal comes in, we take the kick drum out just to. Um, you know, also make the drop more like powerful when the vocal is coming in because um, it's like a short moment but where the energy goes down, you have like not the kick drum playing and then the rises are coming and the, the kick drum goes back in and the vocal of the chorus is coming in and um, yes, everything's there, you know, and it's just coming, there's like more energy to that if you just pull it out like for a for a bar or I don't know, two bars maybe. Um, uh, in this part, you know, as I already mentioned, we have the we have the, the, the chorus coming in, which never played in the song before together with the kick drum. So this is kind of new and it's also the highlight of the song, you know, like when this is there, like the story is, is over, you know, that's like, there's nothing more exciting than this. So that's, that's it, and this really needs to be like the high ha highlight, the most energetic part of the song. And because it is the highlight, we also put in the distant, the the, the distorted glide because uh, it's also quite an quite a quite an essential uh, sound, which was in the first drop. But um, yeah, we we just needed to. It just it, it needs to be there because it's kind of a chorus element which was like in the first drop and now uh, it needs to come again which makes it kind of round uh, to me from an arrangement standpoint and yeah and when the, the vocal is coming in with um with another hi-hat that is playing 16s and also brings in even more energy like to make make it like yeah, more energetic than the part before. That's that. That's just the goal for that. We have, so it's this is like the whole sense behind that. We have also an ambience sound that's just playing underneath. Um, you don't really hear it. It's also just something that you feel, and maybe when you listen on headphones, and it's like a very quiet part, and you hear something of it sometimes. It's just and yeah, like this, just just for details, and um, yeah, but also very very nice for a listener if you have something like this in it and yeah and I guess that's it the rest is just an outro where we have like the melody again from the breakdown so this is also kind of a resolving element and yeah I guess that's it uh, I hope you could learn something uh, if you have any questions uh, write them down in the comments I try to answer all of them and yeah uh, Hope to see you guys soon again. Bye-bye.